Apple is about to blow our minds. <laughs> Want daily tech news in a way that doesn't suck? Of course you do. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, of course, show that gives you all latest tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Hey, listen kids, this is an emergency. Red alert. You only got three days. Count them. One, two, three days left to get your Toilet Squad shirt. We tried to tell you these were limited edition, special edition, super special time shirts. You only got three days left, and if you miss it, you miss it. We do not put them back on sale after those three days. The link is down in the description, but wait, there's more. We also went ahead and put a bunch of permanent stuff on the store. If you want front page tech stuff with the logo on it, you can get it. Oh, and recycle bin stuff too, because I mean, come on, look at the logo though. Look at it. The logo's so sexy that we put it on socks because fuck it. That's it. Go buy the shit or I'll never forgive you. News. All right, so first up, story new. <sighs> Need to calm down. That's what is first up. Story numero uno. Calm to <laughs> down, Jern. Okay, anyway, uh, Apple. I want to talk about Apple. Uh, first, just a little bit of an update to the whole Johnny Ive situation. So, obviously, we've been talking about Johnny Ive leaving Apple. Uh, in the last episode of Front Page Tech, we covered a report where apparently there was like, eh, Johnny was just bored. So, his responsibilities were dwindling at Apple. Uh, since like 2015 and then he decided to leave and now he's leaving but there were many many reports as to why he was going some included like he was just bored <laughs> with Tim Cook like in Tim Cook's lack of interest in well-designed product which I mean I don't know if you've been paying attention but Apple stuff lately looking like sh anyway Tim Cook came out and said nah nyeh. That's the noise he made, I imagine. According to Tim Cook, their internal design team is phenomenally talented and stronger than ever. And any rumors of like tension between Timmy and Johnny Ive, that's absurd. Literally, Tim Cook said that's absurd. I mean, look at it. In the email, he said, the story is absurd. But I mean, like, should we really believe him? Because Tim Cook says a lot of things, like, uh, good morning. For example, good morning, good morning, good morning. See what I mean? That's Quack. a lie. Not every morning is a good morning, Tim. All right. In fact, most mornings suck my dick. Anyway, I want to draw your attention to the last part of this email. Towards the end of this email, he said, the design team is phenomenally talented. As Johnny has said, they're stronger than ever. And I have complete confidence that they will thrive under Jeff Evans and Alan's leadership. We know the truth and we know the incredible things they're capable of doing. Here's the part that I'm... Here's the part you should pay attention to. <clears throat> the projects they're working on will blow you away. Yeah. Actually, real quick, I, I think there was a typo in that. I think what he meant to say is the projects they're working on will blow your money away. Apple's gonna take all your money. I mean, he could be talking about a lot of different things. Like we know Apple's working on an electric vehicle. They're working on the working on. They're working on AR glasses. Could be a lot of stuff. But knowing Tim Cook, he's probably just really enthusiastic about the next AirPods. And that's what he's talking about. Next AirPods gonna blow you away, honey. Good morning. Here's the new iPhone. Kill me. All right, so next up, uh, don't really have a good lead in uh, to this story. Um, OnePlus did an oopsie. I'll use that. We'll go with that, Brian. That's what you get when you don't script your daily show. We'll do it live! Quack it. Quackin' thing sucks! Okay, so OnePlus did an oopsie doopsie accidentally doopsie. <laughs> Can you tell I'm running out of f***s to give today? A bunch of OnePlus 7 Pro users got a uh, thingy on their phone. Uh, what do you call it? Push notification. They got a push notification on the device today. Uh, they got these notifications right here. Uh, boom and boom now i know you're asking uh john what ha happened though what is what is that what does that mean um uh, i don't know <laughs> and neither does one plus apparently because it was an accident like that china <laughs> that chinese one that i showed you that chinese push notification translates to ha 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 they just got a push notification on their phone laughing at them oh we couldn't write a better story couldn't couldn't make it up anyway so i just oh wait a minute Brian, should we just title the show ha 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 ha? You think anyone will click that? 
Anywho, I guess they were just testing uh, an update for Android Q and they accidentally sent out this push notification. It just happened. Whoopsie. It was just a test. None of your personal data was affected. Uh, and that's it and that's all. That's that's the whole thing. It's It was an accident. Uh, something tells me we spent too many minutes on this episode telling you a story about how OnePlus accidentally said haha. I don't know how many minutes I spent on this story, but it feels like too many already. Okay, speaking of oopsie doopsie poopsie doopsie loopsie doopsie poops. Uh, Samsung, they admitted that the Galaxy Fold was a fuck up. Well, the Galaxy Fold wasn't a fuck up per se, but they did done fuck it up. You know what I mean? So their CEO, DJ Co. Oh God, that rhymed and I hate myself. Anyway, at some point amongst the gathering of journalists in South Korea last week, he said some things. Some things include saying that what happened with the Galaxy Fold is embarrassing. Which, you know what, props to him because usually he, you would just brush over that stuff and try your best not to admit it. So good job, sir. You got a pair of uh, uh, big old balls on you. Thank you for admitting that it was embarrassing. Cause it was, it was definitely that. That is the word I would use. He went on to say, I pushed it through before it was ready. Oh, you don't say, you don't say. Wonder who else said that way before it was released. Who tried to tell everybody? <laughs> he said, I do admit I missed something on the foldable phone, but we are in the process of recovery. Uh, still no word as to when it's gonna launch though. So uh, he said, it's in due course, give us a bit more time. Hey, remember when I put that episode out saying uh, that the Galaxy Fold wasn't gonna be ready, but then all of a sudden it was ready and they were gonna release it. I had to put out another episode of Front Page Tech and I said, you know what, I was wrong and everyone loved it. It was, it was the first time I had to come, I stood here and I admitted that I was wrong. Yeah, I take that the fuck back. <laughs> And that's the show. Hopefully you liked it. Learn something if you did hit that like button. If you hate my stupid face, hit the dislike button. If you're new here, subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow.